All right, let's talk foundations for this week. This week you're going to be practicing the long E sound. And we've already practiced a couple times um, when we have talked about the Y at the end of a word that makes an E sound like steamy. Um, we've also talked about um, those short words like be, me, we, he, she. So this is just a couple other ways that we can hear the long E sound in a word. All right, the three ways that we are going to be practicing this week is E, E, Jeep, E. E, A, eat, E. And E, Y, key, E. All right, so let's write a couple of those words. So again, this week, um, your papers show that you have a week one words and week two. Week one are your one syllable words and week two are two syllable words, but I know you guys have got this. So let's talk about the E-E -E sound. This would be a sound that we would hear like in the word week. This is week four of doing your work from home. Now, a two-syllable word that we might you it, do is, um, oh, our teenager words. We're always practicing this. So if we did the word 13, there's that sound, the TH. There's that er sound you practiced a couple weeks ago. So that's our first syllable, thir, and then teen. <clears throat> 13. Okay. Let's do the E-A sound. All right, this might be um, like the word treat. Okay, be careful with that tur because a lot of times second graders think it's a chur, but t -t tur, tur eat. I miss the teacher's treats on Fridays. Okay, there's your one syllable word. Let's look at a two syllable word. How about um, peanut? Peanut. So the first one is P, and then your next syllable is nut. Peanut. Okay, notice I saved the EY sound for the end of the board because let's look at those words and see what you notice about the E-Y. Did I say E-Y earlier? E-Y. Okay, E-Y, a one syllable word. Let's do key. Don't lose your key to the house. Okay, let's do a two syllable word. How about valley? We talked about the valley that comes between two mountains when it's down below, it's the valley. Val. Lee. Okay, so what do we notice about that EY? It's always that sound that you're going to hear at the end of a word. So that's going to help you. Your EE -E and your EA are going to be in the middle of the word, and your EY is going to be at the end of the word. So these are the words you're going to be practicing this week. Let's also look at your trick words for this week. Ready. One. This is one like we won the football game. Head. Sun. Who's. Breakfast. Mm. Breakfast sounds really good right now. Breakfast. These are the words that you're adding. Again, remember that you need to be practicing that whole stack of cards. And if you can read them really easily, then have somebody test you on writing those words as well. So these are your trick words. And then your story to go with it. And oh, I loved hearing you guys read your stories. You did so good. And it, oh, teachers love hearing kids read. So it just made my day to hear each one of you. The story you're going to be reading today is Winter Daydream, so you can find that um, in your packet, and those are the stories that you need to be practicing. 
So this week I want you to do your papers at home and uh, work on reading and writing these E sounds. And then for an assignment to turn into me, there's going to be an activity on Seesaw where you're going to sort the words. You're going to add words that you can come up with and then read them to me. So you can find that on there. All right. Good luck this week. Let me know if you need any help.